Toolbox Buzz has a new head-to-head. -head. Lennox is looking sharp, and we're going to figure out what Makita is doing. This is your Power Tool Week in Review. This episode is brought to you by Ohio Power Tool. Pro tools, pro service, all at the best prices at ohiopowertool.com. And Ego, power beyond belief. Welcome back, Power Tool fans. I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah. It's November 20th, 2020. And today we're going to cover the latest Power Tool news and point out the best tool videos of the week. But if you've got a quick minute, you would help us out a lot by punching that like button below. Thanks. All right, let's get to the news. Roger Bisbee has been working on a series of multi-tool reviews, starting with the Bosch and Metabo, but this week he looks at the DeWalt. That's the DeWalt DCS 356 20-volt max XR brushless cordless three-speed oscillating multi-tool. It's got quick blade change LED lights and runs up to 20,000 OPM. Roger uses it to cut through nails, a bit of sanding, and even digs out some grout in his neighbor's wall for having too many political signs in his yard. Or maybe that's his own wall. I'm, I'm just making assumptions here. But this is just the beginning. This may be the third in the series, but there are nine multi-tools total being tested. So we have a ways to go before we have a winner. To make sure you don't miss it, head over to Skill Builder on YouTube. Makita is making weird products again, and I'm not even mad. We shared a video yesterday recapping Makita's November new tool announcement, which featured a cordless drywall cutout tool featuring their AWS system, an 18-volt LXT wall floor scanner, and a vacuum cleaner. No, not a wet dry vac for the job site, an upright vacuum cleaner. They say it's designed for the hotel and hospitality industry, you know, where they do a lot of vacuuming, always within 5 to 10 feet of an outlet. But this one runs on two 18-volt batteries, which I would only assume hotels have laying around, right? Hotels have Makita batteries laying around? All right, so actually we reached out to a hospitality expert and he actually likes this thing. Does that mean I have to? <laughs> no. Thanks. For more details on Makita's new tools for November, you can watch our breaking news segment right here on Belts and Boxes. We told you three weeks ago about the new miter saw series coming from Toolbox Buzz, and the next segment came out this week. This time they looked for the best 12-inch cordless miter saws. This includes the Milwaukee 2739, the Makita XSL08PT, the DeWalt DHS 7900AT2, and finally the Bosch GCM 18-volt 12GDC Surge and Glide Saw. You know, is it asking too much for these guys to start naming their saws the Makita Thunder Chop or the DeWalt 12-inch Patriot? I would buy that one. Well, the, the Makita one. The Makita one. <laughs> right? Anyways, these are the big boys, the cordless 12-inch monsters that all claim to power AAA miter saws with tiny little batteries. Shockingly, the winner comes from the same company that's making killer upright vacs for La Quinta Inns. Go figure. For full details, head on over to Toolbox Buzz on YouTube. Lennox has been making noise recently with their new carbide-tipped reset blades, and this week, Kenny has them all. That's the new Lennox Demo CT for breaking stuff, and two different Lennox Laser CT blades that claim to outlast 50 normal bimetal blades. Kenny spends three minutes making a case for purchasing Lennox carbide tip blades instead of your bulk pack of bimetal, and he does a good job. Have you noticed Clint hasn't been in very many PTR videos recently? Uh, actually, Kenny told me he lost the thumb war. <laughs> that makes sense. If you're tired of blowing your money on bimetal blades and think you might be ready to step up to Lennox, you can hear Kenny out at Pro Tool Reviews on YouTube. All right, it's time again for some actual work with Rob Robillard. Hey there, Rob. Hey guys, how are you this week? We're good, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm hanging out with my goat friends here in the barn build project. This is gonna be their space. For this week's tip, I wanna to talk to you guys about thinking about the other trades. Other trades, I mean electricians, plumbers, plasterers, thing like, things like that. One thing that a lot of guys don't do that I, I run across often when I, when I do remodeling is when you're building partition walls and you're nailing your double top plate on, guys just nail wherever they want. And the tip here is put the nails in line with the studs. And, and by doing that, you're doing a favor to the electrician and plumber who later have to come behind us and drill holes for 
you know, uh, utilities and plumbing and, and, and electrical lines and things like that. That way the nails aren't in the way, we're not destroying their bits, we're making it safer for them. Some other things that you can do to think about the trades are, you know, when you're remodeling, say, a bathroom, you can center your studs. You know, I know you're doing 16 on center layout, but you can center your studs on the on the shower valve, you can center your stud on the sink drain, so you could do a, um, like a recessed vanity mirror or something like that. There are things that you can do on the framing stage that think about the other trades. Additionally, adding nailers to corners and things like that for the drywall or plaster, all of that stuff helps later on down the line. Hope this helps, have a great week. Thanks so much, Rob. Making a quick swing past Instagram, we start off with Brent at Tool Pros Podcast, who's using one of our favorite hole saws from Spider, showing off the easy eject feature. Travis from Tools by Design gave us a sneak peek at the Viking Arm handheld jack. That thing can support up to 350 pounds and can be inched back down with that clever lever on top. Clever lever. And last of all, Spence Lee Design Co. has a reason to keep going this week. As he makes this perfect cut with the MG36 miter gauge, I could watch that all day. Well, I practically did. I don't doubt it. Last week, we talked about Makita's response to Milwaukee's pipeline, which you can watch right here. Special thanks to Ego and Ohio Power Tool for sponsoring this episode. Guys, we couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. We'll see you next week.